Hi everyone. It's been a... Well, I did... I, the last video I uploaded was an older one. So it's been a few days since I've done a, a new video here. And I have a lot to talk about. I have two CDs to open for you. Uh, and also on my my main channel, Canadian Sug Muffin, if you haven't already, please check out the recent interview I did with Beatley Tones Beatles channel. <laughs> we talk about, of course, the Beatles, Paul McCartney, uh, Paul Weller, The Jam, Sparks, and uh, much more. It's an hour-long, very relaxing interview, so I think it's good if you love ASMR videos and want to relax. And just remember to leave a comment on it. And also tomorrow on my main channel, I'm doing a video where I show people how to properly clean a vinyl record. And I talk about this vinyl record I got yesterday. It's kind of strange. So, if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe to Canadian Stud Muffin. Now on to two things. Yeah, besides opening these two CDs, I wanted to, like I do every year, <laughs> complain about the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And I, I do realize a lot of us real rock and roll fans have kind of, it's like, forget it. You know, we're so frustrated with them. It should be called the Music Hall of Fame instead of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. That's the main gripe with us, with a lot of us, is the name you know, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and then uh, they put into that rappers and all that, which is fine, I guess, overall, but not before you put in these rock bands, and I've listed some of them here. The Guess Who, Grand Funk Railroad, Blue Oyster Cult, King Crimson, XTC, Sparks, Jethro Tull, Motorhead, Procol Harum, Steppenwolf, The Monkees, Three Dog Night, Smashing Pumpkins, The Jam, Cher. I know she's not, you know, real rock and roll, but in the 60s with Sonny and Cher, they were big. And of course, 70s and 80s, she did, sort of did rock music in a way. Uh, more than some of the, you know, more than a, a rap artist, you know, that's Weird Al, Ozzy Osbourne. He is in as, with Black Sabbath, not, but not for his solo career. Warren Zevon, uh, Soundgarden, Motley Crue. I'm not a fan of Motley Crue, but should they be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? I think, yes, they should be. Tommy James and the Shondells, they're not in there yet. Willie Nelson. If rappers can be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, why isn't Willie Nelson in there? Dolly Parton is. Johnny Cash is. <laughs> so the nominees for 2023 are Kate Bush, Sheryl Crow. See, that, that's what I don't get. Sheryl Crow is nominated, but Willie Nelson, I don't know if he's ever been nominated, but he's not in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Uh, Missy Elliott. Iron Maiden, Joy Division, New Order, Cyndi Lauper, I agree, George Michael, I agree, uh, A Tribe Called Quest, I think they're like a rap band, of course, Soundgarden, yes, but not before, you know, the Guess Who, Grand Funk, all of the early, late 60s, early 70s bands. Uh, Pocal Harem, The Monkees, <sighs> The Spinners, yes, uh, The White Stripes, in time, but once again, all of these older acts that haven't been nominated or at least aren't in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame should go in first. And Warren Zevon should be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. So, just another year of... <laughs> A lot, of, a lot of us complaining. And I would love your thoughts uh, on it. So I have two CDs to open. This one, uh, I've taken out of the package a few days ago, but I wanted to wait to open it for this uh, video. 
So I bought this. I have a Patreon page where I react to songs and full albums every month. Please check it out and please think of subscribing. I, I have 20 uh, Patreons so far. And because of listening to this album, the full album, as a reaction, I ended up buying it. I did not know. I knew it was good, but I, I didn't think I would like it as much as I did. It is Fairport Convention with Unhalf Bricking. With, of course, Sandy Denny. Oh, it's a siren. Now, if I was on my main channel, I would be ducking. I haven't done that in quite a while. <laughs> I love that cover too. So open this up. It's on the island label, which uh, Sparks, my one of my favorite bands, has just been resigned to again after almost fifty years. Same photo on there, and a little booklet. And this comes with. Uh, Two bonus tracks, Dear Landlord by, Bel by Bob Dylan and The Ballad of Easy Rider by Roger McGuinn. Mc McQuinn. Yeah. So if anybody else has heard that, heard that, heard this, this, that, whatever, <laughs> I'd love your thoughts on it. Yeah, very nice booklet. And please remember to like this video and uh, leave a comment. It helps the channel. And subscribe. I think I'm about 30 away from 1,000 subscribers. So that is Fairport Convention, and then this one. And I have a few coming in the mail, but I'll open this one first. I think I know what it is. But you don't, do you? It is Paul Weller, who I've become a huge fan of in the last month or so. And this is my sixth album of his. And there's four more coming in in the next week or so, including Wildwood. So I've got his double album, 22 Dreams, which I have never heard. So once again, I would love any thoughts on this album. You know, I could listen to it on Spotify. I don't think this actually is on Spotify. So I couldn't listen to it. I don't know why. His other albums are. But this one, I don't think I saw it on Spotify. Take this out. Some of his album covers aren't very good, but that, that one is very, very cool. And like that. A label. Nothing too fancy. The 
missing dream. Some reading material. Yeah, on, on Patreon, sometime this week, I'm going to be listening to a full album by The Jam, and I do a little mini review between each uh, song, and then a full review at the end. And if you don't want to request anything, it's only $2 a month, and there's all kinds of song uh, reactions on that channel, and some album reactions, and more. You always got to promote. So that is it. Paul Weller, 22 Dreams, and Fairport Convention, Unhalf Bricking, whatever that means. <laughs> and yeah, I would love your thoughts on everything I've talked about here. And uh, I'm really enjoying interviewing people on my other channel. I've interviewed uh, the Prague Corner and uh, Beetley Tones Beatles channel. And today I'm interviewing a, a, what is it, a pocket full of heap. I think that's the name. But anyway, he does uh, song reactions. You know, they're the kind of song reactions that aren't fake. He actually, you know, and gives a really good opinion of each song afterwards. So I'm looking forward to that. And that'll be posted on my other channel in a few days. So stay tuned for that too. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.